Welcome to Thursday and another day of eating for me. I'm starting off my day with some more coffee, which I have in this um, thermos, and a banana. I'm off to the doctor and we'll see what I have for lunch when I get back. Oh my, it's been a busy day for me. I've been out and it's now uh, 20 to 4 and I have a 4 o'clock nail appointment. I'm going to try to eat some of this. This is my lunch for today. I have some rotisserie chicken here. This is chicken breast, which is free protein on Slimming World. Then I have some beets, which are a free food, free and uh, speed. I'm pretty sure they're speed. If not, I'll put it here. Then I have some mixed greens, which are speed, some grapes, which are free food. And over top of the salad, I put some of this light raspberry vinaigrette dressing. And this is 30 calories for the amount that I use. And that will be one and a half cents for this salad. I'm going to go enjoy this now very quickly, might I add. Almost 7.30 now and it is time for my dinner. I've decided to go with the portion of quiche that I made the other day and I just want to reiterate that on this portion of quiche I have a half healthy extra A combination of fat-free mozzarella cheese and feta cheese and I'm having some grape tomatoes with it to give it a little extra speed and if I have anything else I will surely let you know. It is Friday. Happy TGIF for those of you who are celebrating. For me, it is a night or an evening of work. So it's about 11 now already. I can't believe it. Don't know where the morning went. And I'm about to have my first meal of the day, which is cantaloupe, banana. Cantaloupe is speed. Banana is free. And blueberries are speed on Slimming World. I also have some non-fat plain Greek yogurt in there. And that is free protein on Slimming World. Uh, I, I am accounting for one healthy extra A for my almond milk as I usually do every day. And so let me go have my brunchy breakfast and I'll be back. Okay, it is 1.30ish and it is lunchtime. I'll start with the salad. I feel, I feel fruity today and I also have fruit that needs to be used up and I don't want it to go to waste. So I had a few grapes I cut those up and put them in here. Those are a free food. I have a pear, which is speed. I have some strawberries, which are also speed. I have raw onion and greens, which are speed as well. And that does it for the salad. I also put some of this raspberry vinaigrette, 30 calories worth, so that's one and a half cents. And I put uh, half of a healthy extra A worth of this reduced fat feta cheese over the top. So this doesn't go with this in my mind's eye anyway. So I decided to use up some of this farro that I made to go in the turkey soup, which we are not eating at the moment. It's going to be frozen because it is like summertime out there today. And I didn't want this to waste. So I put it in with a one of those packets of tuna fish that I like to have, which I also added in carrots, onion, uh, celery, and parsley too, and two cents worth of mayonnaise. So the mayonnaise, as I said, is two cents. The tuna fish is free protein. The farro is free. And everything else in there is speed food. So this is going to be my lunch for today. And I'm going to do what I always say I'm going to do. I'm going to go enjoy it now. I'm getting ready to leave for work. So I've made myself half of my healthy extra B, which is a piece of Ezekiel bread toasted. I put PB2, which I reconstituted. Two tablespoons or one serving is two and a half cents on Slimming World. And I have a banana that I'm taking with me to work. Here is my shake. Sorry about that. Here is my shake. And this is my flask of water. And the only thing that's missing is the coffee, which I will be drinking in the car on the way over there. So I will have one or the other of these most likely. But I am prepared in case I'm overly hungry. I always like to be prepared. Hello, the YouTube family. I am back to close out. The last two days of eating. How did it go last night? It went perfectly fine. I will give you the information as I usually do. Steps wise, I got to 16,498. And believe me, today my legs are feel is my legs are feeling it. But it was good. Um I came home last night tired, but it was a good kind of tired. One where you know you feel like you did a little bit of a workout. Now again, these steps are not where I get my heart rate up or anything they're not it's not cardio it's just my general steps of the day for those of you who may not know 
um, I don't do formal forms of exercise, like, except for if I like to do um, Get Fit with Rick. I really enjoy his videos, um, which is really just steps. But I haven't done that in a very long time. So for now, anyway, I'm happy with getting my steps back up into the numbers that I like, that I think are healthy for me. I finished on one and a half healthy extra A's, one healthy extra B, and eight and a half cents. And that is due to my shake and my PB2, which is fine. And after work, all I had, which you did not see in the video, are two slices of baked ham, which are free, is free protein, and three Triscuits, which made up the other half of my healthy extra B. Um, the first half would be the one slice of Ezekiel bread. And that's where the B came from. So all in all, I'm forging ahead. This is not work to me at all. It is just being a normal human being who eats when they're hungry and doesn't eat when they're not. And basically, I am very satisfied by the foods that I'm eating, which I think is the most critical thing. Whatever plan you're following, you really have to find ways to get the foods that you really enjoy, not the ones you're necessarily addicted to. You can't substitute chocolate, okay? You can make, I have that decaffeinated hazelnut chocolate tea. I have the oolong chocolate mint. To me, that. That would be something that maybe somebody might want to try for a chocolate fix. I think that that's a, those are great options. When I have them, it is not because I'm looking for chocolate. It's because I'm looking for something delicious. And it happens to be that there's no caloric calories involved. You know what I mean? Um, you know, as Roy of Recipes, Roy always says, you can make substitutes for things, but you have to get it into your head. We have to get it into our head that... Healthier versions of things are different things than the version that is not so healthy for us. Let me just put it that way to keep it simple. And we have to get readjusted. But what I can tell you is that once you start to move away from those things by filling yourself up with the good things first, that your palate will change. Um, I've gone through this. This is my second time around of feeling my palate changing. And once that happens, you'd be surprised how you're really not looking for those things as the way you used to anymore. It takes time as a process. It takes work. Yes, you have to be determined and you have to get yourself through it. Some of us, it's harder than others. Um, if we're highly addicted to certain things, it's hard to give them up. I understand that. Leave me, been there, done that. But those are just some little tips and some feedback of the things that I think are important for people to consider when they're deciding a plan to choose a healthy eating plan for themselves, you know, um, because if you don't do that, you can try a plan. If it doesn't work, then you leave it. Right. I mean, look at me. I've done that many times, but really it takes time to figure out exactly what you want to do in terms of, you have to spend some time thinking about that, maybe making some notes to yourself of what kinds of things are important to you. What's more important than another, you know, kind of thing, maybe even make journal it and then figure out from there what exactly is the next step for you if you're looking for something new. Um, for me, for instance, Weight Watchers, I'm not going to track that way. First of all, I don't, you've heard me say this many times, that plan does not work for me primarily because I need to understand what the plan is and that plan is never explained it's all this mystery thing but let's say if it was explained do I really want to live by points for the rest of my life no I don't I just want to eat as normal if you can call it normal as I can to people who are naturally thin people who eat well and are healthy that's what I'm looking for that may not be what somebody else is looking for because there are other lot lots of other things in the Weight Watchers plan that people like that are not suited to me. So we're all different. And so it's, I think it's really important to sit down and figure out what it is that you want to know what your next step is going to be. And again, you may have to try many things as I've done to get there, but that doesn't mean that it's not possible to get there. You know, you just have to keep, don't stop. Just keep on going, take a break, but you have to get yourself up and you just have to keep on going. You can't give up. It's not allowed. Sorry. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's allowed. It's not because you're important and you are worthy of taking good care of yourself. 
however you get there. We all do that differently. But in the end of the day, we're all worthy of taking good care of ourselves, whatever that means to us. So on that note, I am going to, uh, after I asked you to do something good for yourself, which I just did, I hope I did, but that's what I meant. And I'm going to send you these hugs because today you may need one or maybe not. You can save it for another day when you do. I'm going to hope and wish that your family and yourselves are very blessed. I'm going to wish you blessings. And I'm going to thank you very much for supporting my channel and supporting me through my craziness. And um, for continuing to support me on this Slimming World journey that I'm on. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I'm going to wish that you all stay well. And I will see you next time.